Hi, I'm Tim Dolbear from SampleTude and Sequoia. Let's go through the new features that are in SampleTude Pro X2 and Sequoia 13. SampleTude Pro X2, the new feature-rich version of Magic's flagship music production digital audio workstation for recording, editing, restoration, mixing, mastering, and CD, DVD, MP3, AAC creation. The new enhancements to the wealth of features contained already in SampleTude include the new default mixer channel EQ. The EQ116 is now available as the default EQ throughout the program. VCAs have been added to the mixer section to allow control of multiple faders across multiple channels from a single fader. We've also added VST3 support. There's a brand new, more flexible plug-in routing routine. You can also access multiple outputs per channel in the mixer. There's also the new Z-Plane time stretching and pitch automation and auto-tune algorithms, and it's available across multiple tracks simultaneously. New virtual instruments, including the DN-E1 Virtual Analog Synth, the new Vita Solo instruments, and an on-screen virtual keyboard. This is all in addition to the Vita Virtual Instrument and the Independence Pro Sample Library. The improved Arranger window allows you to open up multiple projects in individual tabs, much as you would do in a web browser. You can also park manager windows in the tabs and wave editing windows. The MIDI editor can have its own tab and allow it to be full screen and switch back and forth between the VIP and the MIDI editor by just clicking on the tabs. The new toolbar configuration supports drag and drop customization. There's also many other little enhancements and improvements throughout the program. SampleTube Pro X Suites, in addition to the list we've already gone through, adds the addition of a full license to the Cleaning and Restoration Suite, the Analog Modeling Suite Plus, Vandal Guitar Amp Simulator, the full Independence Pro Sample Library at 65 gigs, the new loudness metering for EBU R128, as well as the S Max 11 brick wall limiter, has added a mode called True Peak Limiter, which catches any of the overs that may happen through intersample modulation. Sequoia 13.1, in addition to everything we've already covered, also adds the facilities for the state of the art loudness metering, as well as file analyzing, folder analyzing, and all the tools you'll need in broadcast. ISRC codes are also now written to WAV files, and all the video formats supported by our 32-bit version are now supported by the 64-bit version. We also have a real-time MP3 and AAC encoder preview plugin that sits on the master bus. Samplitude and Sequoia requires Windows 7, 8, or 8.1 and higher, 32-bit or 64-bit. More information is available at SampleTube.com. You can also download a trial version there that's fully functional for 30 days. I'm Tim Dolbear from SampleTube Sequoia here at Eclectica Studios. Now, let's go make some music.